Hey star seeds! So today we're going to be making a very easy recipe by Natalie Portman. Now for those of you who don't know, Natalie Portman is an actress and she's played in movies like V for Vendetta and No Strings Attached. So this recipe that she has created is super easy, it doesn't have a lot of ingredients and this is a typical uh, home cooked meal that she loves to cook for her family. Uh, so. For those of you who don't know, she actually narrated the documentary Eating Animals, so you guys can check that out on YouTube. So, before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we are here every single week providing you with delicious vegan recipes. Don't forget to subscribe. So we are making chickpea stew and the first thing we're going to do is add in two tablespoons of olive oil. And to that, we are going to be adding in two cloves of garlic. Next, we're going to add in one zucchini. Oh yeah. So just give it a stir. Smells good in here. So we're adding in some sea salt to taste. Natalie Portman adds in a lot of salt because she has low blood pressure. Give it a good mix. And you can see that the zucchinis are starting to soften. So we're adding in 400 grams of tomato chunks. Oh yeah, love that. And give this a stir. And guys, like I said before, this is one of the easiest recipes that you can make for your family. It really doesn't take long at all. And the ingredients are not complicated. Not a lot of spices, although you could add whatever spices that you desire. Okay, so Natalie Portman uses canned chickpeas. If you're gonna use canned chickpeas, then you wanna add the chickpeas in right now and then let it boil with the rest of the ingredients for 20 to 25 minutes, or actually simmer for 20 to 25 minutes, okay? If you sprouted your chickpeas like I have, then you wanna add in your chickpeas and let it cook for about five or six minutes because you don't wanna kill the chickpeas, right? Because you sprouted them, you activated them, and they're alive now. So just for your information. So I'm adding in about 400 grams of sprouted chickpeas. Like I said earlier on, you can use canned chickpeas as well. Now give it a nice mix. Okay hey guys, this looks really, really good. And since I sprouted my chickpeas, I'm not gonna cook them for 20 to 25 minutes, but I will be cooking them for about five to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna cover this up and let it simmer for about five to 10 minutes. Okay guys, so listen up. This is a great recipe if you're not into a lot of spices. I myself love Indian spices and I basically put like turmeric and curry powder and all kinds of these delicious Indian spices in most of my meals. Um, if spices kind of bother your stomach or if you have a family who are not into having a lot of spices in their meals, then you can go ahead and make this recipe because uh, it's very simple and she only spices up this dish with a little bit of salt and some chili flakes at the end. So you can go ahead and try this recipe for your family and I'm sure you guys are gonna love it. Okay, so my sprouted chickpeas only took 12 minutes to cook and I made a really delicious jasmine rice to go with this, which is what Natalie Portman does. So I'm gonna sit down with Greg and have some lunch and show you guys uh, what this looks like and to taste it for you as well. But we have one thing left and that is to add in a little bit more salt and some chili powder. I mean, she uses chili flakes, but I have cayenne pepper, so I'm using cayenne pepper. So I didn't salt my rice, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit more salt in the chickpeas. Mmm, smells really good. So simple, so wholesome. So now I'm going to add in some cayenne pepper, just for a bit of a kick. Mm. So I added some French, fresh French bread, and some yogurt, and also a bit of rice. And now what I'm gonna do is take some coriander in, actually in Natalie Portman's video, she uses parsley, but I didn't have any on hand, so I'm just gonna use some coriander and just sprinkle it on top. So this is my delicious lunch, and I'm gonna sit down for you guys and have a taste. Okay, so Greg loves hummus, but he hates chickpeas, which is so weird. I mean, he, he likes blended chickpeas, but he doesn't like, 
Yeah, so I don't think he's gonna like this dish. And what is this? A zucchini. I don't like zucchini. Somebody needs to eat his vegetables. I have my rice. So I'm gonna try this for you guys. Mm. Hold on. No, the rice is excellent. The rice is just a nice jasmine rice. Mmm. 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 Yuck. Way to go, Natalie Portman. Mmm, this is delicious. And it's really simple and easy and not a lot happening, but it's a delicious meal. Tell you what. You really don't like chickpeas? How I can, can you not? I can tolerate the chickpeas. I cannot tolerate the zucchini. Okay. The zucchini, yuck. Really? I cannot have zucchini. Okay, well, whatever. For those of you who don't like zucchini, you can substitute or leave it out altogether. It's up to you. Hmm. But I am enjoying this. And I think yogurt is a really nice touch with, yogurt with chickpeas just, mm, it just goes together. I tell you what though. Mm. It's time to end the video. Mm. Mm. Because you have to make me breakfast. Or I mean lunch. That is lunch. No, no, this is your lunch. You make me my lunch. Tough luck. You're eating zucchinis and chickpeas for lunch. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to share our videos if you enjoy them, because sharing is caring. And if you make this one, thank Natalie Portman for her delicious recipe. And don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know how you like it. So, see you next time, bye.